A web host is a company that provides, for a fee, web hosting. You may be familiar with something like WordPress.com, which is a blog host, note the .com there, or YouTube, which is a video host. These are free, and they host video files or blogs, um, respectively, but they don't give you the full features of being able to host a full website. Something like Bluehost or Dreamhost, um, and there are a number of others like this, provide what's called shared hosting. Most of you will be using shared hosting. Shared hosting means that many, many, in many cases, many hundreds of people are using the same piece of hardware, the same machine, to host their websites. Those machines have um, web servers and usually database servers and um, mail servers, all the things that you need to run a website. The advantage is these are generally fairly inexpensive in the $10 range a month. Um, the disadvantage is because many of you are using the same resources. If one of those hundreds of websites becomes very popular, it can use up a lot of those resources and basically steal them from you. And you may not be able to um, be able to serve the website as quickly as you have in the past if, if another site is hogging those resources. Um, the advantage is, again, it's cheap, easy to use. And as you can see up here, they claim at least that you have an unlimited um, uh, no limits on your on the amount of storage space and things like that. As a practical matter, there are questions about that, but basically you, you don't have clear restrictions on that. The next step up is something called a virtual private server. That means that it's not actually a physical machine, but it behaves like one. It's still, as this name might suggest, a slice of a full machine, but it does provide um, something that feels like a, a dedicated machine just for you. The reason is that that slice is yours and if another if another site on the machine becomes popular they are kind of caged in by their own slice of the machine and so um, you're protected and you have those resources available to you no matter what. Uh, the disadvantages it's a little bit more expensive as you can see starting at 20 and easily going into the hundreds of dollars for a month for one of these and it requires probably a bit more technical expertise. These are managed. That is, there is someone there that can make sure that it stays running at some base level, but you're expected to know a lot more about the server and be able to um, set up options and uh, for, for the server software and things like that. The next step up is a dedicated, co-located server. That means it's a machine that's located at their server center, um, and they have 24-7 maintenance, and they make sure the machine stays running and is air-conditioned and has a good electrical supply and a good connection to the internet. But basically, you own that machine. It's your machine in that space. This is a, usually a better than having the machine at your own work or at your own home, especially because there is someone there 24-7 and some consistency, and, and you don't have to worry about the hardware and if it fails, they can replace things very quickly. Uh, but it's basically your own physical machine server. The next step up is cloud hosting. Um, the most famous of these, because it was one of the first, is Amazon's electric cloud compute cloud. What this provides is actually more than one machine. It, it provides clusters of machines, often f distributed around the country or around the world, so that you have it closer to the people that might be asking for a particular uh, page. One of the advantages to this is scalability. It costs about the same as a VPS to get in at the very ground floor, but you're charged by how much capacity you use, how many resources you use. And if you grow to become a very popular uh, website, and this goes all the way up to the most popular websites you could think of, um, Amazon will be there to support you and, and you can grow into that, um, that kind of need very quickly. So that's a quick rundown from the least to the most expensive and least to the most complicated uh, web hosting. Again, you're probably looking for a shared web host if you're starting out.